cover those platforms with the aerial. And now Void actually has more room to pressure Nico and prevent him from trying to mix up his own landing. Pulling up Buster, trying to get some early percent lead on Void, who can't seem to find an edge guard, right? Shulk's recovery, two jumps on an up B, which hits twice. But there's something about that up B, which is so tricky to go against, with the way you can time both that both the hits of that up B. Yeah, I honestly feel like it's just so big, and wow. oh my gosh, he literally wow. just ran up and got the up smash on Void. And did you see how early that actually killed? I mean, of course, that is Pichu. Pichu that looks like an 80 or 90. Tried to pivot it. Waiting here now, using that amazing nair of Shulks to get in. And this is a, this, you can see exactly why a lot of people consider Shulks to be a top 10 character even higher. Just the amount of options he has in the air in, co in combination with Monado Arts he chooses. Oh, he actually went, to, he held down right there to go through the ledge again, trying yep. to get a similar situation. Oh, <gasps> no way, that Nico! Changed everything right there. That's why you saw him switch to Smash so close to the blast zone when Void was getting edge guarded. That completely changed the pace for him. We are reminded of how light Pichu is when you get hit by a move with such knockback like the Smash Monado arc. I mean, if you're that close to the ledge, you are dead. We saw what happened when the Buzz got hit by that up tilt with Smash Art, and you know, Olimar isn't a heavy character whatsoever. Also, a light character like Pichu, and honestly, just not surprised whatsoever if that fair connected and actually killed Pichu so close to the blast zone. What's shocking too is that these two have played each other again, and that is it. Void is out of Thunder Smash 2 at seventh place. Oh, wow. That was. Mixing in Nikita. Didn't get that forward tilt. And now waiting neutral. Ooh, risky oh, forward air, but he found three. And the fact that he fell with the first one was a, he, it allowed him to get two more after that. Allowed him to get back onto the platform and just sneak into. That's this is the damage that he oh, needs. Larry. Oh, Larry! Oh, oh, the I, footstool! I was so scared that that was going to be an up air. He's at 160. Oh, He's at 160. He got him exactly to 160, put him down, and sent him up to the heavens, taking that game one. Larry, good play from Salem. I mean. He actually blows up the C4 right, be right before he's able to be in its own hitbox. Kind of illuminating his own drop when it comes down the back here. Hey. All of trying to cost up on the dash attack. He's going for these empty raw nares and they're not working too well for him. And that actually might have cost him the oh! kill! Oh! That was perfect from Larry. The jump into down air, seeing that Salem was going to recover below the ledge a little bit, he knew he could overextend and just. Huge lead mid game, and then it was ultimately Larry that clutched it out. But just like before, Salem potentially finding himself on his last game of the Invitational. Yeah, Salem sticking to Snake, knowing that, again, I feel like with the lead that he's had, he's been doing overall a good job versus Larry, but I feel like he's getting angsty, especially trying to close out stocks. Throw right, three easy jabs. Oh, bazooka! And that's exactly what we were scared of because we know how low that move. Still not dying. I could just imagine how peeving this could possibly be for Larry. Just not able to get the kill on Salem. Yeah. I mean, he's living to 162. He's got rage on his side. He just took 12% from that Nikita. There's a reflector that we were talking about coming up from Larry. Because because even if you're down, but it's still last off each, there's still hope, right? There's still, it's just you not getting hit for an entire period. But right now, if you're going to trade, that's going to cost you the set against Snake. Congrats to Salem to move along. And Larry Lur going out at seventh place alongside. Will that kill at 114? It doesn't. Snake's too heavy. No, nope. he works out way too much, man. Those games actually coming oh. in clutch. And the up tilt. Imagine another one. Oh. Wait, the down throw. But oh. Is that killing? Nikita! This is an opportunity oh. right here. Oh, this got real close, real quick. Oh, the C4 is by oh. the ledge. Oh! oh my! The, um, I, oh my! MVD is a genius. That was phenomenal. You know, it was back down. The forwarder is not going to finish it. Oh, so close. Are we going to see a back air? No, we try to see an attempt on the down air instead. MVD making it back to the stage. Center stage now, center control. Oh, oh he does for the run up until up tilt. I respect it. Okay, forward oh, missing. Like... Side tilt, still not going to kill. Okay. No, this is not Pichu. Wait. Is... Oh, he goes so oh. down for the down air. What? He uh, went SD? really low. I don't there either. There was no back air. Esam's at 70 before I can even say his name. And MVD still somehow finds his way in the beautiful land of Lilac Cruise. And you see how he was able to pull out the grenade just in case Isam was going to try to contest him so high up in the air. Kind of like a back off situation. But the, it, oh, my. oh no! <laughs> I look, you almost thought that grenade saved him, but obviously no. It like, did quite the opposite, I think. Yeah, definitely added up to that knockback. But they trade for both players. It's just there's a mountain to climb right now for Esam. 
And unfortunately for Pikachu, doesn't really have a confirm. Oh, the grenade helping him get back into the stage. Smart stuff from MVD. He doesn't have a confirm off of 160, but MVD does with a 171 using that ratio's advantage and yep. takes out ESAM in a very close set. And MVD, just like Thunder Smash 1, has found himself in winner's finals of the event. He seems to power up and... and if that up B actually clanks with DeBuzz. Oh, what a grab from DeBuzz. Beautiful stuff. Still, one more chance for Dark Wizzy, and now he has to make sure he does not get too close to DeBuzz, otherwise it will be his game. Oh, you see, he's just trying to defend these Pitmen off of him. And now it's only a matter of time. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait! Calls out the That's jump! A kill. That yes, it was it was angled upwards. It was angled upwards. Dark. Oh, you see Dark Wizzy's getting a little greedy with these smash attacks. Oh my gosh, we've seen this exact same situation. This is the third time now, and it's ended only oh, one he way. Into it. A back throw. He got rid of the purple Pikmin. Oh jeez! The oh, what the oh the bar oh, smash! Dude. Oh, Dark Wizzy with a clean 3-0 oh, over to Buzz, sending the bus to loser's side. That was absolutely incredible. Not just a win, not just a decisive win, a 3-0. Oh, oh. Checking that moment that I hit. Alrighty. I see a quick jolt into a potential side tilt. Looking for the edge guard again. Still not a single down B to connect. Well, he uses a quick attack actually to just get close on Salem. Goes for the jab instead. Oh, but the forward smash connecting amazingly. But Snake is a heavy boy. He is at 111%. But okay, the down here, yeah. I mean, if one doesn't work, I'm going to make sure I pressure you hard enough off stage to make sure I get this game. Very obscure option there from Salem to go there. Oh, Nair, the spike is actually just throwing something right in front of him. Hey, you still find these 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 nares, these small hits bit by bit. 77 now. Oh, dash attack that. Oh, he low profiled perfectly. Yeah. Really good awareness from Esam, narrowly avoiding that down air as Salem was just, just floating too high above him. Pikachu being a short character as well. Oh, he, yep, he jumped into it. You know what they say, you can't spell Salem without Esam handing you an L. Oh, okay, That's hungry box. A 3-0 right there. <laughs> Kind of three and a half minutes into the game. Yeah. Honestly, Luma isn't the problem so far, I feel like, for Nico. I mean, Nico's doing a really good job at taking care of the character, but <laughs> I feel like DeBuzz is just taking advantage of his, his disadvantage a lot more than Nico has been taking care of uh, DeBuzz's disadvantage. That's right. right. Yeah, and since I add to that a little bit, you know, Nico, I mean, he's going off stage. I mean, he's doing what oh, he's supposed to Oh, yeah, goodbye. Oh, no, wait, no, oh, yeah. That's, yeah, okay, see, so that's the thing about Rosalina's dare. Like, it either spikes or it, like, just sends you clear off to the left. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, there's really. There's really no middle ground with that kind of go for when you are in between them two or if you have obviously Luma out of the picture. But I mean, I think that's more of a mental switch too for Nico. You know, Nico has to know like how to adjust his gameplay for when Rosalina does have Luma in comparison to when she does not. And he's got to do some adjusting right here though, man. Switch over to the shield. He's going to eat all of this because he is in the shield. And switches out into jump. Very smart stuff. Now he's going to hang out right here on the left and right sides of the stage, but actually decides to jump into the middle and gets himself thrown again. Yeah, he decides to use that jump part just to jump right yeah. into Rosalina's grab. Hey, watch yourself. I know sometimes that up smash can leave the top of the screen, but you really have to watch which way Snake is going. Snake always has a trap or two set ahead of himself. You know what I would have done right there? I would have right. rolled right into that forward smash. Think so? I would have rolled, yeah. <laughs> Ready and willing. Back here to start a combo. He always aired out us to the ledge. Mm -hmm. He's back oh, here to the fair okay. when he was looking for the immediate turnaround at the fair spike. Knocking MBD right out of his cypher. That's right. That's a, that's a momentum killer. He can hide a lot better the, the way the stage looks aesthetic-wise. That's right. Uh, that's should kill, gonna, yeah. yeah, that's going to actually do 149%. I got to say, he got his money's worth out of it, so he should still be feeling pretty good. He has a whole stock lead, so Dark Wizzy has to play perfect. Nothing less than perfect to try to bring this thing back. MVD not allowing it by any means unnecessary. Finds it. No way. No, oh, no way. He Bazooka, baby. Stared at Woo. him straight in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best entry in game five that I could have seen. Ron, he predicted Almost he was a smooth inside. criminal. Oh, again! Oh. And that's gonna not do not it? Not quite enough to do it yet. Dark Wizzy, nice with the cape. No way. This will take perfection. This okay. will take the most poised gameplay I've oh, ever seen. Get that up till out of here. You can definitely smell it coming. At least I hope that's what that smell is. Wow! wow. wow. Covering so hell? much space between the Nikita and the up tilt. MVD now, once again, the story of Thunder.
find. Pikachu being one of those very high skill cap characters, in my opinion, um, you usually don't see a lot of like pick up and go from Pikachu. It's usually like, oh, right. hey, this person that's been playing Pikachu for over five years that's is right. doing really well with Pikachu. It's just such a hard character. There's so many different upbeat angles, very combo orientated, mm -hmm. and if you don't, if you're not clean, it's uh, your Pikachu gonna get rocked. Yeah, if you're anything less than clean, you're dirty. I mean, let's just be, oh my god, let's speak in a dirty. There is the downer <laughs> from above, and I love that. Kind of taking a page out of the buzzes book. I mean, he's been doing that to pretty much every. Did not go into the uh, up smash or maybe even down smash and damage just opted for the grab there. But nonetheless, East Ham still in position. Finally, the quick or the, the dash attack hits the mark. Yeah, and a bit of a fake out there too. Kind of looked like he did a, a pivot dash. Yeah, he, he like definitely ran dashed to the left and then dashed back into the right. That's right. That was some really good stuff. Now, right here, East Ham has to play so perfect, so pristine, so clean. <laughs> but it doesn't even matter. Pikachu sent off to the Pokemon Center. Liquid the Buzz is a madman right here. And he's bringing it all the way home. Off this ledge trap. Can he get the down air? Oh, down tilt. Oh, yeah, he rolled that time. But very smart though to not go high. He knows that the buzz has been kind of picking up on that here a little bit. Oh, okay, Luma, not much life left. Not much gas left in the tank. And Luma's out of the picture. The buzz knocking on Death's door. This is not good. Okay, he's going to elect to go to the ledge of the stage. Which way is he going to go? Oh, he's trying to call the job. <laughs> oh, my God. Dark Wizzy closes it out. 3-1 on Liquids. The buzz, mind you, the Thunder Gaming Smash champ. There does need to be a level of confidence that comes in to Grand Finals where you're coming in from the loser side. But right. what better way to do it than obviously go up two on your opponent? You're like, look, all I have to do is win one more game. My opponent that's on the winner's side has to win another three. And then with that in mind, they have a whole other set. And I don't think my opponent was mentally prepared enough you know, to really try to mount a comeback just like that. So we're going to see how this one's going to play out right now, man. Again, uh, come on, come what? on, come on, MVD. <laughs> That's the second time I think Wizzy has fallen into that. Too high, it was still enough to obviously close it out. But yeah, and I think in a different universe where the percent might have been a little bit lower, MVD still could have survived that one. But that's okay, though, man. Survivability or not, he still has this very small but very strong lead, though. But, you know, with looking at how well Dark Wizzy played against the Buzz just earlier today in bracket, I mean, what is a lead to Dark Wizzy? Okay, 131%. He was able to pick apart the Buzz's weaknesses and then close out for everything that oh, has worked. Oh, God yo, dang! Yo, is he home? He almost died. He almost died cross stage to that forward smash. Dark Wizzy still has all the momentum oh my going for that read and. Wow, how much damage just happened. Like, oh, no, what? it did not. And we got the reset, ladies and gentlemen. Dark what? Lizzie with the pop off. Well deserved. We are going to another set. He buffered. Always on deck, and I'm really starting to appreciate that there from Dark Wizzy. Oh, yeah, the cape has gotten him out of so many situations, reflecting the up smash, reflecting the Nikita. Just having that tool against Snake is such a big deal because he's setting up all these explosives, and some of them come oh like, at you. Oh, my God. But Trap Master MVD is back in the building, and I'm liking this, oh. but I don't know how much I like it, though, man. What? Wow. Angled wow, up wow. forward smash. That's the second time we've seen that coming out from Dark Wizzy. The anti is it to its full extent. We've seen it at early percents too. He'll go for like a grab, then you'll see the combo finish kind of with the downer. Or sometimes we've seen him just use it where he's catching the air dodge. I mean, it's a multi-hit move. You're not gonna be able to out, out maneuver all the hits in that attack. So, oh, okay, no punish on the dash attack, but that's because he had a grenade in hand. Even D kind of saying one step ahead of the competition. Oh. Okay, up smashes the grenade oh and the up my. smash. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. World's best at gaming for a reason. MVD going up another game right here. On Was prepared. Now he's got two stocks to one, and he's still racking up this damage. That's right here, and it's not stopping anytime soon. Dark Wizzy certainly knocking on Death's door. Okay, Man. now he's going to land right here. Gets it between him and the grenade. Very scary stuff, but there needs to be a level of fearlessness fighting against Snake. So let him know that you don't mind those grenades, I guess. Oh, Ooh, wait, wait a minute. Train. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it with the pop-off. World's best gaming. MVD takes first place. Thunder Smash Gaming number two.